Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is about being very afraid uh, of things. Um, you know, you are in a state of um, being... Uh, there's something big that you have to do and you're very, very worried about it. It's like looking into the jaws of the uh, the dragon or the jaws of this huge fish here, um, but into the monster's mouth, really. So you, there's something that you have to do. Maybe it's even speaking in public or something that you have to do that is worrying you quite a bit and you're very afraid of doing this. It's the chasm card over here, so you know you feel like you don't know what's coming up for you and you're very, very afraid to actually do something. Uh, it's something very, very important. Now, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself, maybe, um, you know, been studying, um, but um, definitely whatever you're doing is uh, to try and bring in that abundance into your life. So you're focusing on that. You've got this man's uh, crown chakra and third eye chakra being activated over here. So it looks like, you know, you're spending a lot of time and focusing on some kind of project that you're doing. And you're spending a lot of time by yourself um, on trying to maybe study, trying to maybe learn or trying to get, maybe you're doing even research, uh, but it's uh, taking you, uh, you're, um, you know, almost taking on that hermit kind of energy over here where you're excluding yourself from other people. You've got the adolescence card over here. So this is the beginnings of something brand new. So this could be a new relationship that might be coming in for you, or this could be, you know, you're starting a new project. And uh, this is the reason why you're afraid to actually take um, that leap of faith because, you know, you're afraid your fears are holding you back. You want to start something brand new, like I said, maybe a new, um, maybe even a new endeavor. It could be some kind of new job, something brand new that you want to start. You haven't done it before. You might have been doing a lot of studying or doing a lot of research into that particular field, uh, but it's keeping you, you know, a bit paralyzed with fear. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, you want to start something br brand new. Now you've got that one. It's one. It's the beginnings of something new, but it will turn out okay. So even though there are obstacles or problems and you don't know what's coming up, it looks like, you know, she's come through this uh, little pathway over here and whatever's waiting for on the other side is going to be okay. So you need to let go of that fear and, you know, take the plunge and do whatever it is you need to do. Now, in the past, you've got this abundance card over here. So this is what you were waiting for. Maybe some abundance has come in for you. It could be some kind of, you know, abundance in the form of spiritual enlightenment. Uh, it could be, you know, in the form of even money, but it was even... Um, or even uh, emotional abundance coming in for you. There's a lot of water in this card, which is talking about, you know, being, uh, you know, happier than what you were. So this has happened in the past, um, in the recent past. And you've got the shoes card over here, which is talking about some kind of uplifting message that came in for you. So there's something, some good news has come in that has brought you a lot of happiness, uh, you know, and maybe it had something to do with finance as well. Or it could be even something to do with travel, because you've got wings on these shoes. Um, you know, usually you think about um, the news, you think about Hermes, and Hermes has always got that wings. Hermes is uh, related to Mercury, and Mercury is the god of travel, also the god of information, um, you know, communication. So some kind of communication may have come in, um, and, um, you know, it's brought in a lot of happiness as well for you. This is in the past. Now, going to the future, you've got the tree over here. So you might be dealing with some family issues that are coming up. Uh, you might be even making a new uh, a move, going into a new home, uh, you know, buying a new property, or you've got some kind of dealings that are going on in your family uh, life that you're trying to sort out. You've got the clock over here, so big changes coming in for you. Uh, you know, it's like the Wheel of Fortune card. So there's, uh, you know, there's some kind of time uh, element uh, in that particular change that comes in. So there's maybe there's a deadline, there's something that you have to do pretty quickly or you have to do by a certain time um, uh, that you're going to be dealing with in the future here. So, um, but this card is talking about big changes coming in. Um, you know, things are starting to move on for you. Um, and you are going to be sorting out some, through some kind of family issue that you're dealing with. So whatever this thing that is that you have to do that's holding you back, you needn't worry because uh, you know, you've got that adolescent card over here. So there are, um, there's happiness that is coming in. There's big, a uh, positive change coming in over here. You've got a lot of colors over here. So whatever change comes in, don't be afraid to go for it because it looks like it will be quite successful, whatever you're doing. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the gay tarot for the main read. 
I have shuffled this deck. So let's see. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the guide of coins, which is like the page of coins. So there's some kind of offer coming in with money or to do with money or even a new job. And that is definitely the energy that's coming. It's an energy of change. You can see this angel's got really big wings. You can see there's a communication coming in over there. There's a lot of birds in the background and it's got to do with money. So you're receiving some kind of message that involves money or it could even involve study, um, something that improves your skill sets so that you can make more money. But definitely something, some news to do with money or finance or something to do with that job um, coming in for you. And it's going to be very positive as well. It's going to allow you to move forward. So what's going on with you? You've got that four of swords and the three of swords. So, you know, this is the three of swords is a heartbreak situation that happened. You can see it's a lot of snow and, and, and winter. So there was some kind of situation, some kind of crisis that you went through. Uh, and maybe you had some kind of went through some kind of heartbreak situation, a lot of loss. It could even be, have been uh, legal issues that you were dealing with that caused a lot of problems as well. Because with the swords, you are den generally dealing with, with some kind of legal matter as well. You've got the Four of Swords. It's crossing the Four of Swords. So it's caused a lot of problems. You know, you are, it's tired you out. Um, you can see this man's taking a break. Um, and, you know, the Four of Swords follows the Three of Swords. So you are taking some time out, maybe spending some time by yourself so that you can uh, get your thoughts together, get your strategies together, get your ideas back again, get that power back in your hand. You know, you're deciding on how uh, to sort through this three of swords. So you're using this time out to actually get your 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 mind back on track, really, after going through a, a quite a miserable situation here. You can see this man's got this uh, castle in the background and this path leading up to it here. So you are trying to focus on getting back your abundance and stability. So something came in. It could be in the form of news over here uh, that came in um, that caused, uh, you know, a lot of problems, a heartbreak crisis over here. And now you're trying to refocus and get that goal back again, get your stability back again, you know. Um, you could have even lost your home uh, with this card, uh, with this Three of Swords, but it was something that caused a big loss um, and, um, you know, a lot of crying, a lot of tears that came with this particular card. So um, what's happened in the past? It seems like you've made a move. Uh, you've left something behind. You've left a certain way of life behind. Maybe there was some kind of communication that came in that meant that you had to leave. So there was a lot of burdens in that particular field or job or, or situation. You were carrying a lot of um, burdens. Now, this whole thing could be about a work situation because the theme of the energies is of the focus on work. So you could have left an old uh, job because there was too much of responsibilities and you ha could have cut yourself loose and moved on. Now, in uh, you've got the Four of Wands coming in over here. So, um, you know, whatever you're doing at the moment or in the past three months is you're working with groups of people or you're trying to work with people. If this is about collaborating with uh, other people and trying to get the stability back again. So whatever you're doing, you know, at the moment is uh, starting to, um, you know, gain structure, get rewards. So you're trying to build something. Maybe you're trying to build something up. Uh, you've started off afresh, started by yourself. Maybe you... Uh, left that old job and gone your separate way and started something fresh and your you and some you know group of people are building together uh you know trying to make something up so um you know you may have uh, taken that plunge maybe you're going gone to some kind of self-employment uh but you're definitely working with a group of people and you seem to get on pretty well with this group of people you've got the three of cups over here so whatever you're doing with this person you've got this child over here uh it's a new project that you're doing uh, and it's bringing a lot of success it's allowing you to have a little more time to yourself as well um so you know it and and you get along pretty well with these people 
you can see, you know, there's lots of celebration at the top over there. It's giving you a lot of emotional fulfillment. That's being on your mind. <coughs> now, going into the future, you've got that hermit card again. So this is about, you know, uh, taking a step back, seeing things from a different perspective, um, but also seeing the bigger picture. And this is where you are at. And this is because you're taking that time out. So with this Four of Swords, while you're taking that time out to recover from whatever the crisis was, you are now starting to see things and you're getting a lot more knowledge you're seeing things from a different perspective, a broader perspective. And you might, whatever job you're doing, you might be, you know, reaching a broader audience as well. You've got the whole world here. So this is looking at things, making maybe making plans for the future, but looking at things from a very, very different perspective. And also, uh, you know, you are spending time by yourself with the Hermit card. It's about Virgo and concentrating on work. So, you know, the Hermit card is ruled by the sign of Virgo. So this is spending time by yourself and focusing on your job, but also being, becoming an expert at what you're doing, or maybe you are an expert at what you do. And, um, you know, this is allowing you to see things, make bigger plans. Now, you've got the eight of coins over here, so you are working pretty hard. So this whole circumstance might have been due to uh, you losing a job and having to start off afresh by yourself, going off on your own, but now working with people uh, here, and you're getting through uh, whatever that circumstance is. Um, and, you know, you're also having to focus a lot on that work. Um, you've got, the, with the eight of coins over here, you've got a lot of clocks in over here. So there's um, there's a time element over here. So you might be working to deadlines or you have time constraints on whatever you're doing. You're focusing on it and you're working very hard. So you're trying to produce um, something, the goods, uh, and you've got this uh, you know time uh, limitation or you have to do it by a certain time uh, running through it. So this is really working hard. Uh, you can see this man's working late into the night. So you're putting long hours into this particular job and trying to get things done on time. You've got the Ten of Coins over here. Um, so this was the end of that old situation, but something brand new coming in for you here. Uh, with the Ten of Coins, maybe there was some money, there was some kind of payout, or there will be some kind of payout that comes in from that old job situation. So there's some finance coming in. But this is also the ending of an old work situation and the beginning of something brand new. Something where you will do it by yourself. You you know, with that ten of coins is ending an old situation. Maybe you worked with a lot of people or worked under a lot of people. But now with this hermit card, it's going your own way because you have learned enough and you are an expert at it. And with this eight of coins, is also being an expert at that particular job or that uh, particular field. This man is very, very uh, trained up in doing this uh, clock repair so this is a, a very intricate job that you're doing and, you know, it, you, it needs a lot of skill. And, you know, you can see working towards, uh, you know, on deadlines as well, working late at the night. So it seems like you've taken the plunge, you're going it by your, yourself and, um, you know, you've ended that old job where you worked for people and now you're doing it for yourself. There's some kind of legal news that you're waiting for. Uh, you've got that Sage of Swords over here, which is about, you know, uh, some kind of um, official news coming in, some kind of judgment coming in. Maybe that particular judgment that you're waiting for is going to be bringing in some kind of payoff as well or some kind of settlement. Now, going into the future, you've got the Chariot, the Sun, and the Eight of Swords. With the Chariot card is taking control of that situation and moving down your own path. You can see this little, this man is on a skateboard, so he's going to be uh, deciding which way he goes. Uh, and he's being pulled by these two dogs. So, you know, there us, there's something that's pushing you forward. Uh, you know, there might be a, a lot of demands that are being made uh, on you as well at this particular moment. Um, and, you know, maybe people are, uh, you know, you're, you're having to, um, people pulling you in two different directions rather. So you're having to, um, to work pretty hard to get control of that situation as well. Now, the chariot could also be about being, uh, you know, involved in a home move. So moving on from an old situation. But the chariot card is also a card of victory. So whatever situation you're, you're involved in, working very, very hard at, looks like it's going to be very, very victorious. It is a card of being very determined to succeed and succeeding at that. So you've got the sun card over here, and this is the card of success, but it's going to take a lot of hard work. Now, you might be working with somebody as well, uh, but you can see there's a lot of sunflowers over there, and they're building this wall that, and, you know, working also late hours. Um, and um, and this is probably what you're doing at the moment. So you're very determined to get this particular project done or particular job. It seems like you're working by yourself, trying to control things or get things under control as well. This is taking that leadership role, taking that control, uh, and trying to sort out people that are, uh, you know, going 
pulling pulling you in two different directions, um, you know, dealing with difficult people, but getting things in control. And this is about working pretty hard, pretty late hours with that sun card. So this particular field, uh, this particular path that you're on now is going to be taking a lot of your time. Uh, and it may be m making you feel very, very restricted, very, very isolated with this um, Eight of Swords over here. Um, you know, you can see this man standing all by himself and nobody speaking to him over here. So maybe you feel a bit left out of any kind of social cir cir circumstances or social situation because you're working so hard and you're working by yourself as well. There's some kind of information that you also need to... Um, um, receive or you need to go and do research for it might be to do with finances as well you've got a, this is this man reading the financial pages over here so there's some kind of information that you need to seek out to get out of the situation so maybe you are uh, you know you're having to work very very hard and you're looking for ways in which you can uh, you know improve um, your time uh, get more time back to yourself and not having to work so hard, not feeling so isolated or having to work late hours. Uh, but there is some kind of research that you need to do and some news. Uh, you need to get that information about, you know, uh, finances. You need to go and do some research about that as well. So there's some kind of information missing that you need to get out of this situation. Uh, but you are feeling a little bit isolated over there, feeling a bit trapped uh, in this particular situation. Um, but, you know, you need to be stay positive because even though you have to put in a lot of hard work with the sun card and you know you are dealing with difficult people and maybe there's you know there's a lot of there might be some information lost as well you can see this man's papers are all over the, the floor over here um you know keeping track of things is it's very important to keep track of bills or make sure that your paperwork is in order um in order for you to succeed so just keep an eye out for that. Make sure that you're very, very organized, keeping track of your finances, keeping track of your paperwork. There's some kind of research that you need to do, some kind of information that you need to seek out. Maybe you will need to seek out some uh, financial um, advice uh, as well. There's some missing information that you need um, to get um, yourself going or to get yourself uh, from feeling so stuck or feeling so um, hemmed in with that Eight of Swords. But all in all, it looks like, you know, you have started on this particular uh, field by yourself. And it looks like, you know, you are an ex expert at what you're doing. And the people you're working with, you're enjoying their work, uh, working with them as well. So time to rest or take a vacation. Allow for more time uh, before making a decision. Meditation provides the answer. So you've got another four of swords over here. So you've got two four of swords over here. So you are overworking quite a bit over there. Uh, you might even, you know, be getting some stress-related illnesses, and you do need to take a little bit of a break um, uh, to get things in perspective. This is probably, you need a little bit of a vacation, it seems. You've got the nine of air over here, so expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. So you're very anxious. So whatever you're doing right now, you're almost sitting, uh, you know, at the edge of that cliff. You're, you're very, very worried. You're not sleeping well at night. Uh, you've got this four of air over here, which says you need to sleep at night so you really do need to take a break uh, you've got a lot of anxiety going on over here there might be a lot of pressures that are coming in from that particular job that you're doing and this is causing those sleepless nights you've got a choice coming up over here so it says carefully weigh your um, decisions and good health now the four of air usually speaks about if you're getting um, you know you're getting stressed out and you're getting stress related illnesses you do need to delegate you've got these other horses over here delegating the burdens of your or your responsibilities and with the lovers card over here you've got a decision to make um, and you need to consider it very carefully but it also looks like you know your health will return uh, there's good health coming in for you if that's the thing that is uh, you know causing problems but there's a lot of worry a lot of anxiety in the spread <coughs> there are a lot of sword cards over here so it looks like you need to relax a little bit, go and do some meditation or do something that gets your mind off things. You know, if you can't afford to take a, a holiday right now, just taking a, a break for a day is very, very important where you take your mind off that particular stress. And you are moving on. It looks like, you know, hard work will bring in success. That sun card in itself is a card of success. So, you, you know, try not to be so worried and anxious about the whole thing because it's your own thoughts that are keeping you stressed. So if you get rid of that stress, see it as, just see it as part of the journey. This was all part of the journey. And, you know, uh, don't try to make it um, into something. Uh, don't try to make monsters out of it. In other words, uh, you know, 
take each day at a time, take each moment at a time, and try not to be too anxious about things, because the stress and anxiety will only bring around um, you know, illnesses, and you really don't want that to happen. So uh, a choice coming up for you um, and a decision to be made in the future as well. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.